When it comes to deck boxes to hold your precious and potent decks for Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other standard size trading card games, you often have got so much to stow that the ability to get up and go with multiple decks in tow is often a difficult flow. Don't I know? That's why this video will compare and contrast the new deck luggage deck box by Ultra Pro, BCW's Prime Gaming Box, and the Bolt Compact Quiver Design. But with so many choices, some are better than others. Sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look. We'll start with the Ultra Pro Deck Luggage. Inspired for the very thing this very video is vectored in on, this Grand Tour luggage has a thick exterior that unzips to reveal a foam padding designed to hold two 100 double-sleeved card decks, so a total of 200 double-sleeved cards. Neither the exterior or the interior are rigid, however. The interior is a foam and the exterior like a thick raincoat of plastic. Since the exterior is thick yet malleable, the interior foam is the main source of protection. And I do like foam protection, but well, you're probably not gonna believe this. I swear it's true. As I was filming it, I only meant to push on the foam lightly to show how the central divider wobbles a bit because that central divider is what keeps the top from pushing in on your cards. So I wanted to show that it could wobble a bit and right away, yep, as the bard says, oops, I did it again with Ultra Pro, again. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously don't push on the foam is the message here. Ultra Pro, this is is $24.99 for the luggage. What are you doing? You already make what is perhaps the number one deck box on the market. Here it is, the Ultra Pro Tower. They start at $11.99 each, and if you want to chip in an extra five bucks or so for a fancy finish, like this rainbow exterior, then you can. Rigid plastic. It doesn't buckle, it doesn't break. Bottom compartment for dice and counters. This is probably the one deck box I'd keep if I had to get rid of everything else, and I have been using them and enjoying them and their multitude of styles and colors for, I, I think, about a decade now. So yeah, it's it's firm but malleable. It is it is firm, and when it's it's closed up, and especially thanks to that hard foam interior, I, I don't believe that your cards are going to get damaged in here. Even the, the the fact the foam tore on me, and again, that was a legitimate, unexpected occurrence. But I, I think this is fine for twenty four ninety nine. However. I would rather pick up a couple Ultra Pro towers. And when I say that I've been using these for nearly a decade, well, this right here, a little piece of Tolarian Community College history, this is the satin tower that I reviewed in my very first deck box review. It was my personal deck box prior to making that video and has remained my go-to out of everything that I have. I just grabbed my good old satin tower from nearly a decade ago. Uh, it was $9.99 back then. They're up to about $11.99 on average where you find them. They've got fancier, prettier colors and coatings. Just, I do, I, I, I did like spending the extra five bucks or so for that rainbow finish and lots of options available. But here it is, all that time later, get the little tray on the bottom. Still got a nice firm cover. And you know what? They're, they're, they're tough. That's not like, I mean, ha! yeah, no, it's not, it's, it's fine. Look, it doesn't even have a scratch on it. And you know, 10 bucks or so, 15 bucks, if you want the pretty one. Uh, I, I really love the towers. Get the, get the towers. Great on the luggage is a, a C minus. It's a sad, I'm disappointed in you. I know you can do better than this. C minus. Next up, we have a product that excites me. Excites me big time. The BCW Prime 4 Gaming Box. In contrast to that $24.99 luggage, this is $12.99 and holds up to four 60 card single sleeved decks. And also has a removable compartment for dice and counters. Rigid hard shell exterior and a firm latch. All right, before I go on, I have to stop right here and address the elephant in the room. The deck compartments are only made for 60 card single sleeve decks, which is just heartbreaking to me. If only, if only this held at the very least 60 card double sleeved decks, which would mean it then could likely hold four 100 single sleeved commander decks, then that right there would blow my mind more than fetch lands being reprinted at rare in a $4 booster pack. But sadly that, just like the fetch lands, is only 
a dream. There's still a lot to love about the gaming box, especially the removable dividers, which allow for you to store, oh, I don't know, an entire plane chase deck on the side. Oversized card fans, this is what you keep writing me about. Where can I store my plane chase and oversized commander cards? Well, this transforms into a nice slot that can hold them, either sleeved or if you are a monster, unsleeved as shown here. It's amazing how an inexpensive little resin deck box like this can work so well. No gimmick and unnecessary polyurethane fanciness. Just rigid plastic case with a secure latch and some removable dividers. I love this so much, but it won't hold my commander decks. I was really torn about the grade for this. Do I give it a lower grade because it won't hold commander decks? Because based on quality alone, I mean, if I were just using single sleeved standard decks, I'd be pretty happy, albeit it doesn't hold 75 single sleeved cards. And so the 60 single sleeved cards, there's no room for a sideboard. It's so close. And I think we're in A minus territory, but I'd like to do something I've never done before. Just that latch, it's great. 12.99, come on. Well, BCW has some of the best budget items around. And lo and behold, Oh, fantastic. I would love to issue a promise, a challenge to BCW. I don't really know why we need this little compartment area here for pencils, perhaps another game or gaming accessories was envisioned when this was designed, but I'd love to just take that much plastic space, so same amount of plastic, and just apply it. I know I'm not a mechanical engineer, whatever. Just apply it to the top here and make it so these could hold at minimum, single sleeved commander decks. Cause can you imagine just this? Just, that, I mean, it's, it's such a small amount more to have the single sleeved commander deck. And you've got, oh, listen to that clasp. This there, going to your friend's house, going down to game night, something like that. Four single sleeved commander decks. That's just solid A and I don't want to promise pluses, but I could really see one if we went just a little bit bigger, and this was 100 double-sleeved cards, more or less the same exact thing. Just want to redirect this excess space here. This is just doing not that much. I do love it. I think a lot of people, as is, again, at $12.99, are going to pick this up and just really enjoy it. I think it could use a few tweaks. We're in A- minus territory right here with big ol' smile on my face. Despite not being every single thing I want, it's still a lot of what I want and for such a fair price. Excellent quality, bring a battle box of standard or modern or popper decks with you, or just divide your commander decks into the two compartments and bring them along. I hope very much to see more size options available from BCW in the future, but in the meantime, this is still an A- minus product. Quiver sure keeps impressing us, doesn't it? Now for those who may love the quality construction and function of a full-on on quiver, but want a more compact design, comes the quiver bolt. This holds a little over 420 single sleeved cards, which is four sleeved up commander decks with just enough room for some tokens and dice, or three double sleeved commander decks with room for those tokens and dice. Versatile with its removable and completely adjustable Velcro dividers, the bolt also comes with these new nifty soft acrylic dividers that you can just slide in and out. I, I really like these a lot. The dividers are great as they are a way to customize your interior to your needs. So whether it's double sleeved commander decks or you just like to play with things like resealable inner sleeves, or maybe you have a commander deck with a ton of tokens. No more worrying about being confined by standard sizing for decks boxes. Speaking of those standard size deck boxes, yes, you can put boulders in here, or I suppose a satin tower, though that may be the deck box equivalent of double sleeving. As with the full-sized quiver, the bolt has an exterior of a thick polyurethane that is highly water resistant and with covered zippers. Great for if you need to run from your car indoors in the rain.
There's also a handy shoulder and hand strap that comes with the bolt so you can sling this over your shoulder or just pick it up and grab on the go. And much like the full-sized quiver, the bolt comes with both the hand strap and an adjustable shoulder strap. Really fantastic. I always felt that the full-size quiver for me personally was just a bit too big because I didn't like having that many commander decks. I use it for my popper cube, which single-sleeved, it's just the right size for it. But for my commander decks, I usually like to have two or three double-sleeved ones with me when I would go to a Magic Fest. Remember Magic Fests or something like that? I didn't like to have all 10 of them with me as some people do. I like having the option and I really love, I really like the hand strap on this. It's not too heavy, it's not too bulky. It's a great way to customize it for your personal needs. It's some excellent quality and it's literally just a few dollars more than Ultra Pro wants for that luggage, and it is vastly, vastly superior. Possibly my new favorite transport case, the bolt is just as fantastic as the quiver. Thick exterior, water resistant, zippered closure, adjustable dividers. Hey, they'll even throw in a three year guarantee from the company. Great on this is an enthusiastic solid, no questions asked A. And look at that price, it's only a couple bucks more than the Ultra Pro luggage. So you could get the Ultra Pro luggage or or you could get this. Get, 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 get this, get this. Or the BCW box, or a tower from Ultra Pro, but, but, but not that luggage. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. You can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. What do you look for when you're looking for a deck box or carrying case? Does the perfect one exist or is there something still missing from your list? Let me know in the comments below. And remember, as we approach the holiday season, while we are still on pandemic mode in many parts, most parts of the world, or maybe it just feels like that here in the United States, your local game stores may still be open for business. And if it's safe business with curbside pickup, with other safety measures in place, with local delivery, all kinds of things, check them out on social media. Look up your store's Facebook page. Just give them a call on the phone. See how they're doing. And if it is reasonable and you can do so, support those game stores during this crisis. They were there for us to play Magic at before and we'd very much like to make sure that they're there after. But the, the quiver is on Amazon only. I'll put a link to that in the description. Yet, they, they're almost killed limited, right? Because it's not good for the viewers. Yep. So this is, this is something that like, yeah, I agree. Limited is not good for the viewers. But at what point are you willing to sacrifice like everything else to get an extra thousand viewers? Right? Because it's not like you're right. going from 5,000 viewers to a million viewers. You're not becoming League of Legends. This is not magic strength, right? You're going from 5,000 viewers to 6,000, maybe 7,000, right? And it, it, is it worth it? To me, it's not. I, I think you should try to make the tournaments as best they, as they can be for people who want to play in them. Right, and not necessarily just for the people who are watching. So I, I think, I think, and, and for example, the invites, right? They had the discretionary invites and stuff like that. And then it just invited a bunch of players who are not from Magic, right? They invited, say, Savitz, right? And, and don't get me wrong, I, I like Savitz a lot. I talked to him during the tournament. He's actually a really nice person, but I don't think he should be put in the MPL, right? And then you have all these people who are just trying their hardest and just wanna be in the system. And there's no room for them because you're bringing someone from a different game just to get more viewers, right? And I, I wish they wouldn't do that. I wish they they would, you know, and now that every, everyone is mad about it, right? And, and rightfully so, because if you've been trying for five years and you feel like you finally got there, and you know, oh, there's finally a spot on this thing. Oh, wait, it's this person from, this streamer from a different game that's going to get it. I think right. that feels really bad. Yeah. Right? 
And so that, that would, I think, is the biggest weakness, is focusing too much on viewership and not enough on Magic's strength, which is that people love playing it and they want to be part of the system. 